Parsha Shoftim certainly gives us incredible instructions uh, throughout the Parsha uh, for success, um, guidelines and, and uh, strategies for how we can be successful as uh, we go through life and certainly as we go through Elul in preparation for Yom Hadin. And uh, just the very beginning of the Parsha in terms of uh, this idea, as the Bali Musa explained, it's not just the official judges and officers and overseers that make for a, a just society, which is clearly what HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants. Uh, Beit B'chai talks about it in his introduction, how Shalom is the greatest gift that HaKadosh Baruch Hu, uh, can give, the greatest bracha, and uh, that's, that's what we should be striving for, and certainly having a, a society that has laws, has regulations, has guidelines, uh, is important. But the Balaam Musa take it to a next level where they say it's referring to ourselves, each individual has to have those guidelines. Each individual has to have those strategies for success in their own lives. Certainly uh, don't, don't want to make a big plug, but uh, a plug is important nonetheless. There's a you know, big uh, Asifa coming up a week from Sunday in Los Angeles about this very idea of creating guidelines, using technology in a, in a positive way of making sure that it doesn't become a source of uh, just over-involvement and distraction and, and, and certainly sometimes uh, an opportunity to move into some very negative situations. Just in general, the challenge of just being connected in life uh, you know, so the idea of like looking at oneself, take a look and have those judges, uh, even your gates. One of the Bali Musa explains that uh, those sharecha for each individual are the eyes and the ears and the nose and the mouth, all of the places that are, in a sense, open to bring things in. Those are the gates where what you see and what you hear what you speak about has such potential impact uh, in terms of uh, bringing you to a good place or bringing you to a Rahman al negative place. So make guidelines. Look at the situation. What can you do to protect yourself? Making sure that what, uh, what you see and what you hear um, and what you discuss are things that are positive, things that can bring you, uh, Bez Hashem, to a, to a place that's uh, closer to Kodesh Baruch Hu. Uh, so that's a tremendous message for Cheshbar Nefesh, a tremendous nefesh, uh, message for uh, introspection and oversight of oneself in terms of one's life. What do I need to do to make sure I can be successful? And sometimes we need help. We need help from, with other people to, to make that happen. Uh, in this case, you know, organizations have been, have been developed to, to try to help people with, with uh, dealing, whether it's their children, whether it's with themselves, this challenge of technology is a great one. Another strategy, another concept uh, that we see here, and as I said, there's so many throughout the parsha, is the, uh, the king, uh, this melech needs to be in a, a spiritually proper place. He's a melech, he has to present the most superior levels of, of spirituality of the Yerushalayim, don't overdo the horses, don't overdo uh, the, the physicality, the materialism, not too many women, uh, to distract him again uh, when a person's overly involved, not too much and the Pasa continues, and uh, he has to write this Torah, and he has to be with him, and he needs to uh, re- uh, be with him, and he needs to read it and learn it all the days of his life, in order to learn to fear Hashem. Um, and again, to avoid, as the next passage uh, uh, talks about, the gaiva that might be inherent in becoming a king. So, so again, this idea of you know, the strategies of su- for success in life, uh, this pasuk uh, of, the, of the idea of this Torah, here's a king who clearly is being chosen because uh, 
of his special status. And by definition, uh, he's, he's a holy person, and yet there's concern that uh, his holiness might not last. And the key to his success is what? That he have the Torah with him? So the Kol Yomov comes first, that you need the consistency. Um, it should be with him all the days. But as the Mepharshim say, this expression, Laman Yilmad, Rebbe Bechai says it uh, to, in, in Parshish Akev, and he refers to Parshish Re'eh, and here you have the same expression. This Laman Yilmad, while on a simple level it means that he should learn by having the Torah, he should learn to fear HaKadosh Baruch Hu, he should maintain his Yerushamayim. But there's also another pshat that Rebbe Bechai brings, that this is an expression of consistency, that the Mulumit, to be Mulumit, to be ch- sort of trained in that, in that endeavor, and to be completely uh, sort of so, uh, so uh, attuned to it, and uh, so consistent with it, that it literally becomes second nature. And that seems to be one of the real keys to success in one's fight uh, the, for your Shemayim and for success spiritually and for doing the right thing and for defeating the Eight Sahara. One of the key things that we need to understand, the Bali Musa explained and the Rishayim say, is, is this Laman Yilmat and Laman Tilmat, the consistency of, of constantly doing something and ingraining it on a daily basis. That's why this idea that the uh, you know, we do things every once in a while when we feel it, when we want it. Uh, this is, you know, it's obviously we should grab those opportunities when we're over, when we're inspired to maybe go more and go above and beyond. But the the idea that taking some days off, taking some days when we're disconnected, some days where we just don't feel it, and then sort of uh, allowing the HR to sort of, you know, put us on hold, that's a very dangerous place. There's, there seems to be a tremendous power of consistency, the power of ingraining it into one's, uh, into one's nature. Literally, Rabbeinu B'chai says it's mamish like second nature. And that's clearly inherent in, in this pasuk, Vaisi imoi v'kara by kol yimei chayav. There are no days off. You're a melech, you're very busy, you got a lot of things going on, but we are, we need you as we need every Jew, HaKadosh Baruch Hu saying to us, we need you to stay on a high level. And the only way that can happen is if it's with you every single day of your life, that sheer, that chavrusership, that davening, uh, that, that Musa Seder needs to be there, kol yimei chayav. Why? So that, that, it sh- that your shemayim should become ingrained within you all the days of your life. So certainly when developing the strategies, obviously the shayftim, the shaytrim teaches us that we shouldn't see ideas of appointing for ourselves judges and, and uh, strategies to judge ourselves and to protect ourselves. The show there need to be there in our own lives. That's certainly one very, very important strategy. And we, don't, we should not see that as a sign of weakness, but a, just the opposite. It's a sign of strength that we recognize that we're human beings and we recognize that without proper guidelines, um, we can't rely always on our strength to overcome challenges. And the consistency in this pasuk of the Laman Yilma, the Yerush Hashem Lekecha, Elekov, this idea of, of uh, the Melech requiring this constant involvement in Torah is certainly another reminder that has to be the theme of, of every Jew's life. The idea of whatever we do, we do regularly, we do consistently, so it becomes second nature that when a test does come, that's how Rabbeinu Bechai says it, we're, we're naturally ready to respond. We have it already as part of almost our DNA, that this is something that we cannot do because the Yerushalayim is already ingrained within us on such a, on such a deep level. So Bez Hashem, if we take these strategies with, with us throughout Elul, prepare, preparing for the uh, Yom Neroim, Bez Hashem will be successful. Bez to a good, good bench, Jor.